to tell you guys are having a great time this morning. Well, since you're having a great time, we're about to make it even better. We have a great guest we're going to bring out here to have a conversation with us. She's a three-time Emmy Award-winning actress for The Good Wife and also for ER. Now she's back on TV in a new series called Diet Land. Please welcome Juliana Margulies. <laughs> Have a, have a seat. Come on over here. Come on uh, over here like oh, you like us. They told me to sit there. Uh, yeah, sit closer. That's too far. We oh, sit closer awesome. to us, yes. He put me over there they, they, in the doghouse. They, <laughs> you know, I, I thought you were going to dance your way out here because, you know, that song, I Could Have Danced All Night, I heard you can't get it out of your head right now. So I went and saw, <laughs> I'm here to plug my own show, but I'm going to plug um, My Fair Lady instead. Um, <laughs> My husband and I went on Wednesday, and Lauren Ambrose is, she moved me to tears with that song. Look, I start tearing up when I think about it. She's remarkable. You all have to go see that. And my mother was in the original Broadway production of My Fair Lady, oh, so wow. it was very meaningful for me. And, and it was just gorgeous. You must see the show, all of you. Lincoln Center, you can pay me later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to talk about your new show, Diet Land. Yes, let's... I don't sing. <laughs> okay, let's do that. You're, this is about a young woman with a self-image issue who is working for you at a fashion magazine or your character. Uh, this is based on a best-selling book. People who don't know what the show is, tell us how you would describe it. So, yeah, I didn't know the book either, and it was in, I guess it was 2015, it was a bestseller, Dietland, and it's um, through the eyes of a character named Plum Kettle, who is an obese woman. Um, if Joy Nash, who plays Plum Kettle, were here, she would say, Juliana, just call her fat, um, because she's very comfortable in her skin. She hates people talking about fat by trying to say curvaceous or uh, plus size. She finds that insulting. Um, and it's through her eyes and how the world sees her and how she sees the world. And she's incredibly smart. And I hire her to answer. I'm the editor of a um, uh, number one teen magazine, fashion magazine in the country. And I hire her to write letters to my girls who write to me with mm -hmm. body issue problems. And not just body issue, but they, you know, hurt themselves, they, boyfriend issues. But my character's perfect. And so... <laughs> so you wouldn't know how to give I that wouldn't advice. know how to give that advice, nor do I have the time. <laughs> Truthfully, Kitty doesn't really care. She just wants her girls to think she cares, so she hires Plum to write her letters for her. Well, let's, let's watch you in action as your character, Kitty Montgomery. Here she's, we, here. she's awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are at Diet Land. I never talk about this around here, but menopause? Perry, in my case, you know me, always have to be first. Suddenly I had this middle. My chef had to cut absolutely everything white out of my menu. You can do things for the face, the body, even the hands, but the waist, you have to attack. Around here, you start looking like somebody's grandmother, you're out. <laughs> I mean, she might be awful, but she looks very fun to play. And I have to say, you looked awesome as a redhead. Oh, you like me with the red hair? I my did. grandmother was a redhead. But um, I think my mom was hoping I'd have red hair um, because the other, my two older sisters had dark hair, but it just didn't happen. So here you go, I get to have red hair on this. And <laughs> my husband, one, he was like, not once you're gonna come home with the wig. Um, <laughs> but I, don't, I wouldn't know how to take it off. And, but you've had, you've had a very successful career and, and been a very successful series before this ER, The Good Wife, now Kitty Montgomery. You've always played such strong, empowering female characters. And there is a whole new fan, uh, re, um, you know, a generation of fans who now recognize you from your past work. Yes, it's, um, I'm, I feel very lucky. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just, timing sometimes is everything. But, um, so Hulu has been streaming ER, and I've been off that show for 18 years. Yep. Wow. And all of a sudden, this younger generation is saying, wait, Aren't you Carol Hathaway? <laughs> and it's just throwing me back. It's amazing it's how that cool. show is just keeps living. Yeah, and well, I'm it was so, so grateful. good at the time, and yeah. it's so great that more people are, are getting to, exposed to it. I know you've stayed close with your ER co-star George Clooney, and yes. his twins are about to turn one. Have you given him any parenting advice? Just curious. 
Oh, you know, he doesn't need advice from me. He's married to a model. She's a human rights lawyer. Um, no, my favorite, I mean, just when I, I, we had a little email exchange and I was just was asking how he was doing and he said, I just can't believe there's so much poop. <laughs> and, and I said, oh, brace yourself, my friend. They haven't even started eating solids yet. <laughs> that was, that was um, my husband and I used to call them sliders. You know, they'd go oh. right up the back. Hi, <laughs> Juliana. <laughs> hey, I tell you right now. We asked a question, you gave the answer. I mean, That's all we can expect. You know, exactly. Yeah, not my not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but but thank thank you for coming in this morning and Thanks joining us. Me. Of course. And Dietland, it premieres tonight. Tonight on AMC. Make sure you check out Juliana Margulies, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.